All right, YouTube. So I'm gonna make a video here today uh, to answer some questions about uh, this Hobart stick made here. All right. I know some people gotta be wondering this because I used to wonder it. Um, can this machine run 60, 10 and 80, 10? A lot of people say it cannot. Uh, some people including has channels now deactivated, but uh, Chucky2009 used to say this machine could not run 6010 all that great. So, I'm going to uh, demonstrate whether it can or cannot. I know for a fact this one can because I ran about 50 pounds through this machine already. So, we're going to uh, fire up here and uh, yeah, these are the rods we're running. Some Lincoln 5P Plus 6010. And then some 8P Plus 8010. So, yeah, we're gonna see how well this works. All right, so I would say that was a success. Um, it was a bit hard running that 8010, uh, mostly because that was an already burnt electrode with a pretty messed up end on it. Uh, but we ran it in there 
Uh, I got some undercut on there. That was an operator error, not machine error. Um, I got a little bit careless, because it's not really anything to care about here. Um, but this is the 6010 we did. Um, vertical down, pretty much, at like a 45, I guess. And this is the 8010. Um, yeah. Not the easiest thing in the world to do, but I mean, it did it. Uh, again, a lot of people said it couldn't, but it does. I mean, it's not the smoothest machine in the world, but it will do it. Now, can it run 11018? I don't know. We're about to find that out. All right, so we're back. Got the Hobart Stickmate fired up here. Um, I don't know if you can see this. Uh, we're running some Lincoln Excalibur uh, 110-18s. I don't know if I can get that to focus there. 110-18s. 332nd inch. Uh, we're going to be running that around like 95-ish amps or so. It did it. Um, I haven't ran much 11018, um, especially not on this machine, uh, but it did it. Looks like there's a tad bit of undercut, like there and there, but it did it. Oh. All right, so if you were thinking of getting one of these things, uh, Right there's the stick mate, 235 AC, 160 DC. Um, we're running that off of the rigid uh, 8500, 6800 uh, generator right there. Um, ain't the best, smoothest welding machine in the world, but it will get the job done. Um, granted, you're not taking an x-ray on anything. Um, it should work out pretty good for you. Uh, but we're gonna get our little Fernius out here and play around with that as well. All right, YouTube. So uh, we got our Fernius out here. This thing's trans pocket 180. Um, we got it hooked up to the 230, uh, same as the, the Hobart. Uh, we're going to be running the same three rods and the same three joint configurations here. 6010 vertical down, 8010 vertical down. Flip it over, run a 11018 vertical down. Or vertical up, I should say. Uh, the 6010 and 8010 are eighth inch rods. The 11018 is a 332nd inch rod. Uh, we're going to run. Our hot start on this, um, uh, we got that set for 130%. Uh, 
I think our dig is at uh, 70 percent. Uh, they call it arc force on this thing. I call it dig. Uh, we're going to be running cellulose mode for the 6010, 8010. Then we're going to switch over to stick for the 110, 18. And we're going to throw a pulse on that. Uh, probably around eight pulses a second, eight or nine hertz there. Uh, so let's get the, this thing fired up here. Alright YouTube, that was the erroneous right there. Um, right here. Um, Alright, so right there, what we did there is that's the 6010. I messed up a little bit right there. I got my arc too far away and it cut out on me. Uh, that was my fault. Um, right there is the 8010. Uh, so that is so much smoother on this machine than it was on the uh the hobart so much smoother and then we're gonna flip it over here and that was our 110 18. uh we were running a 20. uh our dig was at 20 or arc force dig same thing it was at 20. uh the pulses was at like 8.9 hertz a second and then uh we had a hot start of 130 percent 
running at like 93, 93, 98 amps, somewhere in there. Uh, that's what we got uh, from the 11018. That was so much smoother uh, than running on the Hobart. Uh, you can see them here. Uh, that's the Hobart. That's the the Fronius. Um, flip them over here. Uh, the 6010 and the 8010 are all on the same sides. Uh, the 8010, 8010, 6010, 6010. Uh, Kronius is on your right, Hobart's on your left. Uh, you'll see I got a little bit of undercut on the 8010 again, uh, but that's operator error. And it wasn't nearly as bad this time as it was on the uh, with the Hobart. Um, yeah, you can see like the ripples in the 6010 are so much smoother. Uh, than the uh, than the Hobart. Again, it's Fernius Trans Pocket 180. Uh, running off that little little tiny generator right there. Uh, so, if you're thinking about one of these, starting up your own own mobile welding business, I mean, you can see how much room that takes up in my truck. Um, even comes with its own little carrying case right there. Um, yeah, it's pretty sweet, man. Check it out. See ya.